Okay, now we want to understand the binary placeholders. We've built this nice odometer to kind of see how the binary number system works and, and when the wheels turn and so forth. Uh, it looked like this, and uh, you can see, we saw here that uh, uh, one, uh, the first wheel turns at one, and the second wheel turns at two, and the third wheel turns at four, and so forth. And let's, let's put those colors back in there so we can remember them. So uh, here, here are all the different places that, uh, that it changed. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, uh, the font and the spacing a little bit here uh, because I'm going to put some stuff in over the top. As a matter of fact, I, I need another space over the top. So let's add a space here over the top to uh, uh, kind of have a, a chance to um, uh, write some information in there. And first, I'm going to take a look at these decimal numbers. We saw that the, the very first wheel... The, it turned right here and when the very first wheel turned we got a value of one and so we call this often the ones place and you're probably familiar with that uh, and down here uh, the 10 if uh, the when the wheel second wheel turned we got 10 so we often call this the, the tens place so let's start to fill those in let's put the one in the ones place here uh, and by that we mean that if only that one has a one in it then the value is one and in the tens place here if only if this is the only place that has a one in it then that is the uh, then that value is 10 and you're familiar with this the ones place the tens place you've seen this before I know the hundreds place would be next the thousands place would be next and the the ten thousands place would be uh, after that so I know that you're familiar with that but let's take a look now at the binary and see what happens in binary. We have the, the very first wheel changes at one, and so the value, if, if this is the only one that I have here, then the value uh, of this number is one. So we could put one uh, because this is the ones place. In this case, if I have a one only in this place, then the value of that is two. So let's call this wheel the twos place. And then in this one, the value is uh, one, or the value is four if the one is in this third position so I'll call that the fourth place and down here the value is eight if the wheel is in this position in this uh, if, if there's only a one here and nothing else then the value is eight so let's call that the eighth place and then finally this one we'll call the sixteenth place because if there's a one in this and only this position then the value of that is 16. So now we can kind of see a pattern forming. Here in the decimal system, uh, you multiply by 10. 10 times 1 is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 100 is 1,000. 10 times 1,000 is 10,000. Where in the, de in the binary system, excuse me, the, uh, uh, we, we multiply by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. So you see a pattern. These things just keep doubling uh, constantly. And that pattern does hold up. It goes on forever. Uh, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, let's remove this decimal. We're kind of done with the decimal. And we'll remove the miles. And we'll just put this value over in this column, column here. So now we have, what I've done also is I have also uh, spread this out to 8 uh, bits instead of, five bits. Now each of these is called a bit. A zero, this is a zero bit, that's a one bit, that's a one bit, a zero bit, and so on. So the zeros and ones are called bits. When I have eight of them in a row, we call that a byte. And in computers, uh, we often use uh, a byte to represent, say, a character or a, a shade of color or part of a network address, as we'll see as we go through this course. So uh, 8 bits is kind of a standard breaking off point, uh, or 1 byte is kind of a standard breaking off point by which we uh, represent various things uh, in, in a computer. So we will take a look at 1 bit, or excuse me, 1 byte, and uh, in the next video we're going to go on and, and start converting then from binary to decimal and decimal to binary, and you'll discover that using that little chart we just made it's very, very simple to do. So uh, 
look forward to that in the next video.